Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and we are about ready to finish our, let's see here. It is leg eight of part three, which is the final leg, and that's the Interstate 5 bush trip in California. And uh, so the whole thing was from uh blaine washington all the way down to brown field and so we're finishing up uh from john wayne airport uh, ksna to brown field municipal which is ksdm and that's about 82 nautical miles today so without further ado let's go ahead and get started i will uh get into the cabin get set up and ready to fly and uh once I'm ready to go, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I believe we are just about ready to take off here. We're going to be flying at uh, uh, just a hair under uh, 2,500 foot elevation level today. And uh, we are facing more towards the east. So we're going to be turning to our right, uh, heading uh, south. And once we get on course, I will be uh, uh, turning on the autopilot. The uh, narrator will start uh, speaking while I am taking off, so uh, I'm going to let you kind of, we're going to be talking, she's going to be talking about Laguna Woods after takeoff, being a retirement uh, community with a population of around 16,000, it was incorporated in 1990, and so on and so forth. You'll be able to follow it down through here, the fact that I'm turning to my right uh, I want to minimize this right here. So let's go ahead and uh, take off. All right. Here we go. Got plenty of runway. Didn't need to have the brake on. And we should be able to lift off. And let's start uh, turning towards the south. After takeoff, make straight southwest and reach Laguna Woods. It is a retirement community with a population of around 16,000. The city was incorporated in 1999 and was previously known as Leisure World before changing its name to Laguna Woods in 2005. The city has a Mediterranean climate with mild temperatures throughout the year, making it an ideal place to live for retirees looking for a comfortable and peaceful lifestyle. The city has an active community with numerous social clubs and organizations providing residents with opportunities to stay engaged and connected with others. Okay, that's going to be here. And as I have always, I will point out these uh, points of interest as we get to them. So let's go ahead and hop outside. Uh, let's see, this was about nine miles. So we got a little bit of ways to go. So we'll... Uh, Take a look at this. And again, uh, I'm not going to be uh, spinning around too much. Uh, the point of view is pretty much going to be this just because we're down in this Southern California area and it is uh, a lot of uh, population, a lot of buildings and stuff. So it does have a uh, impact on uh, my uh, a little bit of stuttering so which isn't it's not too bad but every once in a while it will get the stutter so once we get to here we will uh, pick up with the narrator
Okay, we are coming up to this building right here, which is this building. And here is I-5 as we've been following. And that's this right through here. So you can kind of see that this this area is uh, Laguna Woods. At this point, I-5 takes the direction toward the coast. Follow it until San Clemente, a beautiful coastal city. It is known for its scenic beaches and Spanish colonial architecture. City boasts a mild climate year-round, making it a popular destination for tourists and residents alike. San Clemente is home to several popular attractions, including the San Clemente Pier, which offers stunning ocean views and is a popular spot for fishing and surfing. The Casa Romantica Cultural Center and Gardens is a popular destination for art exhibits, concerts, and events. The city also hosts several festivals throughout the year, including the San Clemente Ocean Festival and the San Clemente Fiesta. Okay, that's going to be out there when we hit the coast, so uh, as we get over there, uh, I'll point it out. Okay, we are just about here. Here's this building right here. This is San Clemente that she was talking about. Uh, and then here is I-5 continuing up, uh, scrolling right up through here. So this is uh, San Clemente. Continue along the coast and fly over San Onofre Beach. It is known for its incredible surf breaks and beautiful scenery, making it a popular destination for surfers, beachgoers, and nature lovers alike. With its pristine coastline, stunning views, and endless opportunities for outdoor recreation, it is no surprise that this beach is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Okay, and so we're going to be following along the beach here uh, for a little ways, and again, I-5. Uh, so, uh, this Southern California, I think, uh, this very Southern California would be a great place to live, uh, weather wise, if, if only it wasn't so expensive, but we'll talk more about that. I believe we are coming up right along here. Uh, I think this is the stretch of I-5 that's running here. This is this dark little bank right here. And this is the coastline running right along here. So, uh, and I think that's that, that real dark patch is that up there. After so, about 12 miles, you are in the vicinity of Carlsbad. It is a beautiful coastal city located with a population of approximately 115,000 people. Carlsbad has become a popular place to live and visit due to its great weather stunning beaches and abundance of recreational activities. 
One of the most popular attractions in Carlsbad is Legoland California, a theme park that features interactive exhibits, rides, and shows all centered around the famous toy bricks. The city is also home to several other family-friendly attractions such as the Flower Fields SEA Life Aquarium and the Museum of Making Music. Okay, once we uh, get down there, I will uh, point that out. Okay, so we are coming up on Carlsbad. Here is the lakes right here. And this other lake is a little bit farther beyond. Uh, these buildings right here are going to be these buildings right through here. So this is Carlsbad. Um, it would be interesting to see uh, Legoland, wouldn't it? along the coast, you now reach Batiquitos Lagoon. It is a beautiful and ecologically diverse lagoon, popular spot for birdwatching, hiking, and nature walks. The lagoon is home to a variety of bird species, including egrets, herons, and shorebirds, as well as several species of fish and other marine life. All right, that's going to be a little ways up here. Uh, once we get there, I will uh, point that out. Here is our lagoon coming up right here. Here's the big sandy beach, which is right there, and then the beach is along here. Uh, and then you can see uh, I-5 going over it. Uh, I would assume that that would be a very nice place to do some hiking and just to kind of kick back and relax. further on you should see Solana Beach. It is a beautiful coastal community known for its stunning beaches, excellent surfing and laid back lifestyle. There are plenty of recreational opportunities available in Solana Beach, including hiking, biking, golfing and fishing. The area is also rich in natural beauty with pristine beaches, rugged cliffs and stunning ocean views. Okay, and that's not too far up here, so we'll be getting there fairly soon. Okay, so this is Solana Beach along here. There's this lake right here. That's what this part right here is. Uh, here are these buildings right along here. 
as we are driving along the, the coast here, or flying along the coast. Uh, these big set of buildings are right here. Fly now over the city of San Diego, our last destination. Known for its beautiful beaches, mild climate, and diverse culture, San Diego is a popular tourist destination, a great place to live. The city has a thriving economy driven by industries such as biotechnology, defense, and tourism. It is home to several major universities and research institutions, as well as numerous tech startups and small businesses. San Diego is also known for its rich history and cultural attractions, including the famous San Diego Zoo Balboa Park and the USS Midway Museum. The city offers a variety of outdoor activities such as surfing, hiking, and sailing, making it a great place to enjoy the sunny California weather. Okay, there will be no problem picking this out when we get down there, so uh, we're, uh, we've got uh, about 15 nautical miles to go to get to San Diego, so just uh, kick back and enjoy. Well, this uh, one is pretty obvious. Here is the picture of San Diego, and here is San Diego on the ground. Uh, you have uh, I-5 that we're still following, and uh, uh, she should be narrating here pretty quickly. But again, San Diego is uh, a beautiful city. I've been there a long... i to land at Brownfield Municipal Airport, where this fascinating journey ends. It serves as a major general aviation airport in the region and is also used for military training purposes. The airport has a single runway and handles around 300,000 aircraft operations per year. Brownfield Municipal Airport provides a range of aviation services, including aircraft rental and maintenance flight training and fueling. It also has a number of facilities for passengers such as a restaurant car rental services and a pilot lounge. The airport is strategically located near the U.S.-Mexico border, making it a popular choice for international flights. It also serves as a gateway to various destinations in Southern California, including San Diego, Tijuana, and Baja California. Okay, and there is a picture of Browns Field. You'll get to see it when we land. Uh, we've got a little ways to go, but uh, we're going to be uh, setting up here, so I'll uh, let kick back a little bit here, and then we'll go inside the cab and get ready for landing. I think it's about time to uh, head into the cabin. I believe this is our airport right up here. So let me go ahead and get inside the cab. Oh, there it is. Uh, maybe I 
fiddled around too long here, but let's turn the navigations and stuff off. And let's uh, take over. And let's swing this thing around, start slowing it down. And let's get a flap out. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this journey. Uh, I have. I was particularly uh, enjoyed the uh, uh, part that uh, over Washington State, the first part, since that's where I grew up. And let's see if we can kind of get lined up on the runway here. Swinging around. And let's see if we can make a smooth landing for our, for our last uh, landing here. Settle down. Oh, not too bad for our last landing. Okay, I think we can pull in. I think there's a taxiway right up here. I could see it from the air. And start turning now. We know that this thing turns on a dime. And let's uh, cruise right on into the uh, parking facility here. And let's just come to a stop right here. This looks pretty good. Welcome to Brownfield Municipal. Congratulations. You have successfully completed the excursion. Okay. That's the Interstate 5 uh, bush trip by Perfect Flight. And that leg is completed. Uh, we are completely done. And so that finishes uh, my uh, summer series. Uh, while I was away in uh, Alaska, I uh, recorded these and set these up so that uh, you all would have something to watch during the summertime. So I hope you enjoyed the series. And uh, I'm not sure what uh, I've got coming up next for uh, Microsoft Simulator. I know one of the things I got to get started back on is once I'm back home is the uh, uh, air hauler series. And so we'll uh, get that started. That could very well be the next video coming up for uh, Microsoft Simulator. All right, all you uh, flight simmers out there, uh, keep those smooth landings coming. Uh, oh, actually, let me let me start that over again. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help out the channel. And ring that bell. It'll let you know when I am uploading new videos. And I am doing that on a weekly basis. And now, all you flight simmers out there, uh, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.